Hey everyone, uh, today we're going to talk about how to troubleshoot your XPath language uh, inside your DocuSign Gen template. Uh, this is a pretty common thing uh, that will likely come up for folks uh, when they are building out terms and conditions uh, sections. Um, I've seen this happen a lot when you have clauses that you have to toggle on or off, um, or when you have to uh, handle multiple options. Um, you know, option A versus option B versus option C should be displayed under different conditions. So um, the reason I wanted to make a video about this is because what I've experienced is that sometimes these clauses will fail loudly and present you with an error message like you see on the screen. And sometimes they will fail silently and not tell you anything about why they're not showing up, which is kind of frustrating when you're first getting started. Um, so first things first, when it comes to things that fail loudly and present you with an error message, do your best to try and decipher what the issue is. Um, in this example that I've uh, you know, forced uh, in this template here, it's indicating that I have an end conditional tag in here without a matching conditional, which is true. I duplicated it here basically just to show the error message. So um, when possible, try to follow those uh, those error messages and pull on the thread until you can find uh, find the root cause. Um, now, on to the things uh, that fail silently. Um, a couple of things that I've discovered uh, either on my own or with the help of adoption consultants as I was working on different templates. Um, syntax is very important. Um, I have seen situations where uh, the uh, certain items that you put in your conditional tests are case sensitive. Um, and in some cases, you will get an error that will say, you know, that will direct you to the syntax problem. Other times you won't. Um, one thing to be aware of is that uh, straight uh, quotations versus uh, angled quotations are definitely a problem. Um, you should always try and use straight quotations whenever possible. This happens by directly copying from your uh, add field section whenever possible um, and copying this language from the fields uh, on the Salesforce section. You'll notice that these are all straight um, and not angled in any way. Um, one of the other things that I've noticed when it comes to Boolean fields is that uh, in Salesforce, you may be used to the idea that you can use ones or zeros in some cases, maybe when you're doing a data loader, uh, data, data loader update. Um, in DocuSign Gen, it always needs to be true or false and needs to be deciphered as text. Um, now, some of these things may not be immediately apparent when you are building uh, the template itself. So one of the best ways to troubleshoot this as you're trying to decipher, you know, what went wrong or why something isn't appearing is to actually make a testing area at the bottom of your template to figure out how your fields are appearing. Um, so you you see here that I have a number of conditional tests um, looking at governing terms because this has multiple different options and the language may be different um, depending on the option. Now, in my uh, example here, that uh, clause is not showing whatsoever. Um, so it's one of those failing silently situations. So the way that you can get around this is simply uh, pasting the content select tags, which you can copy directly from the add field section here, and seeing what it would appear uh, like if you were using it just as a merge field and not as a conditional test. Um, so when I go in to generate the document, you'll see that I put in governing terms. I've also put in auto renewal to figure out why those aren't coming through. And I can decipher based on this that I made a mistake and I wrote term of service instead of terms of service. So th this is one of the quickest ways to figure out and get to the bottom of why you have issues with your XPath template. Um, if you come across other things or run into other scenarios, please let me know. Um, I'm trying to create a document of sorts to log all these and make sure we share the knowledge with one another. Thanks for listening.